Officers in the Fort Worth suburb of White Settlement found more than they expected when they went to check on someone sleeping in a car. White Settlement police released dash camera footage this week of the encounter. As an officer approached the car, he spotted several guns and two young men who were asleep inside. One of them was wanted for a shooting in Fort Worth at a party at an Airbnb rental. Fox News' Macy Jenkins live with the story tonight. Macy. Hi, Steve. Well, city parks here in White Settlement close at 11 p.m. So when an officer who was just out patrolling saw a car parked at a park around one o'clock, he went to check it out. That's when he saw two people inside sleeping. Turns out and they later found out that one of them was wanted for murder in Fort Worth. It's not every day you find a homicide or murder suspect. Uh, in a city park after hours of sleep in a car. Dash camera video shows the moment a White Settlement officer made the surprising discovery at Central Park in White Settlement early Monday morning. He stumbled upon a vehicle that was parked there. Initially, he thought it was unoccupied. But then he spotted two people inside sleeping. He shined his flashlight in. He noticed uh, two firearms, handguns in plain view, and also some marijuana in plain view. Police Chief Chris Cook says the officer called for backup and took the pair into custody. Two brothers, 17 year old old Colin Williams and 18 year old Dion Williams. Uh, they had no idea that one of the occupants was wanted in a homicide uh, that occurred back in January. Turns out Fort Worth PD had issued a warrant for the 17 year olds arrest in connection with the January 16th murder of 18 year old Daquan Macon. Police say Macon was shot and killed at a house party on Glen Abbey Drive in South Fort Worth. Joyce Muangi lives nearby and remembers hearing gunshots in the middle of the night. I ducked and hit myself, obviously. That was scary because it felt so close. She told Fox 4 she didn't know anyone at the party because they'd rented the house out for the weekend on Airbnb. That was unexpected because this is a very quiet neighborhood. Very safe. The younger Williams brother faces two counts of aggravated assault with a deadly weapon and deadly discharge of a firearm. His older brother is charged with marijuana possession, unlawful carrying, and theft of a firearm. I'm also thankful that they complied and they came out with their hands up and they were taken into custody without incident. Now, Cook says he does not believe that the two brothers have any ties to white settlement. Both are now behind bars at the Tarrant County Jail.